crucial time again when we like to get our hands on a selection of impressive NVMe M.2 SSDs to see how they perform and crucial just keep up in the ante in terms of their performance, especially with their most recent PCIe 5 SSD, the T700, which we of course did a video on here in the scan studio and you can find on our YouTube channel. We're going to take a look at some speed tests of the Crucial T700 as well as their T500, their P3 and their P3 Plus. But rather than put them up against each other in contest, we want to take a look at which drive is better for different use cases. Now the Crucial T700 is obviously the daddy drive as it's PCIe Gen 5 and allows for speeds almost twice as fast as the best Gen 4 SSDs and an incredible 22 times faster than SATA with sequential read speeds of up to 12,400 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 11,800 megabytes per second. Now, just for the fun of it, we also tested to see if this worked in a PS5, which it did straight away. Not that we necessarily recommend buying a Gen 5 SSD specifically for use with a PlayStation, but if you get a good deal on one, at least you know it'll work. Now, we don't always like to state prices as they can sometimes change or be part of our hot deals on the scan site, but at the time of writing this, for comparison, the T700 is £334.99 for a 2TB capacity without a heatsink. The T500 is a best-in-class consumer-grade Gen 4 NVMe SSD, boasting up to 7,400 megabytes per second read and 7,000 megabytes per second write speeds. And like their other award-winning SSDs, it uses Micron's 3D NAND technology to give it super fast speeds for file transfer and game load ups, improving performance for console and PC gamers, and of course, content creators, while still remaining affordable. It's more than twice as fast as Gen 3 NVMe SSDs and 12 times faster than SATA drives. The T500 2TB comes in at a price of $169.98 at the time of writing this. Both the T700 and T500 are available with or without a heatsink which is specifically designed for platforms like the PlayStation 5 and PC gaming rigs, whilst the version without the heatsink fits well in laptops, desktops and workstations. The T500 also gives better performance to power efficiency. In some cases, the heatsink version is even the same price as the one without, so it's always worth having a look around the website and using our useful comparison tool on there too. Moving on to the P3 Plus, this uses PCIe 4, and manages to boost speeds up to 5,000 megabytes per second. And whilst a tad slower than the T500, it's still a speedy drive. It's backwards compatible for most Gen 3 systems too, and definitely worth considering if you have a PCIe Gen 4 motherboard and want to take advantage of the ramp up in speeds without costing too much, as this one is just 129.98 as of today. The most affordable of these four drives is unsurprisingly the P3 drive, which uses PCIe 3, and is able to achieve read speeds up to 3,500 megabytes per second. This is just £105.98, and it's still a really good choice for some gamers. However, we recommend the T500 or T700 if you're a content creator where transfer speeds are super important. So now onto the tests. If you saw the T700 video we did, you'll probably recognize the first set of results, but let's recap anyway, because they are particularly impressive. We ran all the following tests on a 3XS system with a PCIe Gen 4 M.2 SSD as the file host. Now, whilst it might be ideal to have run the tests with a Gen 5 drive as the host, we figured that the Gen 4 read speed should be fast enough to keep up with the Gen 5 write speed. It was the easiest way to get a fair real-world comparison of all four. So let's start with our usual Crystal Disk Smart benchmark. As expected, the T700 doesn't disappoint at all with our results showing an impressive 12,379 megabytes per second for the read, whilst the write speed comes in at a mighty 11,766 megabytes per second. Although it's just under the amount on the box, it's still super fast. Next up are our three real-world tests, which should give us more relatable results, as you'd see, if you were using this drive on a daily basis. An 8 gigabyte video file transfer took just 1.66 seconds. 30 gigabyte video transfer took just 8.86 seconds, which is actually the fastest we've seen. And finally, the larger 60 gigabyte game file transfer took just over 15 seconds, also the fastest we've seen for this test. In comparison, the T500 showed read speeds of 6,941 megabytes per second in Crystal Dismark, 
which is not far off the advertised up to speeds. And the 8GB file took just 1.72, the 30GB 9.24 seconds, and the 60GB game file 16.34 seconds, all not too far off the flagship T700. As expected, the P3 adds on a bit more in durations, but not a huge difference with the 8GB file taking 2.41, the 30 9.85, and the 60 17.52 seconds to transfer. Then on to the P3. In comparison, this took 2.56, 13.14, and 22.28 seconds respectively for the file transfers. So some interesting results there. All of these SSDs from Crucial are top of their game and each are available in a choice of capacities. And the comparison tool mentioned earlier on scan.co.uk can be very helpful for you. The T700 is obviously the kingpin here, but you have to consider first your PC and motherboard compatibility and whether you'll be getting the best of speeds, as well as how important speed is versus price and power consumption. If you've still got any questions though, pop them in the comments and someone will get back to you as soon as possible.